Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss how to perform a one sample t-test in SAS. SAS provides a unique procedure called PROC t-test to perform different types of t-test we are having. Take a look at the syntax which we are going to use to perform a one sample t-test. PROC t-test, data is equal to name, the data set which we are going to use. H0 is the hypothesized value. Sites are used to specify the tile of the test which we are interested in whether it is a right tile or left tile. Alpha is the significance level. Variable statement. Since we are using a one sample t-test, we should specify a variable in the variable statement on which we are going to perform a t-test, right? If we don't specify the variable statement, then the proc t-test will perform a t-test on all the variables we are having in data set. Let's take a look at the example. A random sample of 10 boys had the following IQs. Do this data support the assumption of population mean IQ of 100? In this example, we are going to test is there any significant difference between the population mean IQ of 100 with the sample mean IQ. I have taken the sample in the variable IQ in the data set single. Let's run this code. Yeah, the data set work.single has 10 observations and one variable. Now we have to decide whether we are going to perform a one tile test or two tile test. A one tile test can be a right tile or left tile. We should find the sample mean to decide whether it will be a right or left tile test. Proc means data is equal to single. We are going to find the mean of the variable IQ we are having then run. Yeah, we got the mean as 97.2 which is less than the population mean, right? If the sample mean is less than the population mean, then it is a left tile test, right? Take the null hypothesis as there is no significant difference between the means we are having. Now we are going to use the PROC t-test syntax. PROC t-test data is equal to single, the data set we are having. H0 is equal to 100 is the hypothesized value sites is equal to L since we are performing a left tile test. Alpha is equal to 0 0.05 which is the default significance level and the variable we are having is IQ. Let me run this code. Take a look at the T statistics we are having. We got 9 degrees of freedom, T value as minus 0 0.62 and the probability value is 0 0.2752 which is greater than the alpha level we are having then we accept the null hypothesis. To check for the normality of the sample we are having, take a look at the QQ plot. We can see that the data points are almost closer to the 45 degree line. Then we assume that the sample comes from the normal population, right? Also, we can check for normality using PROC univariate procedure. PROC univariate data is equal to single. The data set we are having variable is IQ histogram slash normal. The normal word, the normal statement says that to check for the normality of the sample we are having. We are interested in the p-value of the anderson darling test. Take a look at the p-value. We are having as 0.25, which is greater than the alpha level we are having. Then our sample comes from the normal population. Take a look at a small note on one sample t-test. To perform a right tail test, use site is equal to u. And for two tail test, use sites is equal to two. If we don't specify a sites, then it will be a default two tail test. It's all about one sample t test using SAS. Uh, we will discuss two pair test and two sample t test in the next video.